Hey, welcome back, everybody. You know, it might not be hot outside yet, but the sun is still shining, and proper skin care is very important to staying healthy. Megan Rothschild and Leanne Sedlak are people organizing Spring, spring Skin 101, and they're here how to, to teach people how to stay safe when they're out this spring. Ladies, thank you so much for coming on the show. Yeah, thank you for having us. What do we need to know when we're going outside? Always want to wear an SPF, mm -hmm. 30 of, or above. Um, you want to make sure you're reapplying every two hours, and you should be reapplying a full shot glass, shot glass size worth. I know that sounds kind of yeah, weird. Yeah, it's an odd way to measure. That's how they always teach us. <laughs> every uh, two hours? Every two hours you want to reapply, even if it says it's waterproof or sweatproof. And what about if you're going in the water? Right after you come out, you have to reapply? Yeah, it's, it's recommended that you want to reapply and, and do that, like I said, every two hours, regardless of whether or not you're in and out of the water. If people want to get tanned but they don't necessarily want to go out in the sun what are some great alternatives well there's sunless tanners which we actually have a couple here uh, that you know you can buy at Sephora or any of the local um, beauty stores but mm. there's also uh, spray tans as well that I'll let Leanne talk about a little bit yeah um, it's a, an airbrush system that takes um, less than 10 minutes to apply mm -hmm. we apply it for you and it's you know an instant tan oh and it looks good safe effective yeah. very safe a lot of people used to turn to tanning beds but not a great uh, alternative that you say? Uh, no, the tanning beds actually are three to six times the amount of UV radiation than the sun. And wow. visiting a tanning booth just once a month, month will increase your risk of melanoma by 75%. So definitely want to go with the safe and healthy alternative of a spray yeah. tan. And even if you have the decision between a tanning bed and the sun, you might as well just go outside. Well, the sun is not as intense, but you always want to make sure you have the SPF on. Because the skin is our largest organ in our body, and we want to make sure we protect it. And you have a great event coming up that's going to do some education, teaching people how to do that. Tell us a little bit about the event. Sure. It's called Spring Skin 101. And we're having Megan over to be our guest speaker to uh, talk about her story a little bit, teach um, everybody how to, you know, what to look for for spots and um, look at their skin. We're also going to have a facial scanner there so people can check for sun damage on their skin. Um, we're going to do a spray tan demonstration, body wrap demonstration, chair massages, kind of a nice event for everybody to get together and learn more uh, how to keep their skin healthy. A little bit of learning, a little bit of relaxing. Exactly. And you were saying Megan's going to share her story. A lot of people out there might not know Megan's story. You, would you care sharing? Yeah, absolutely. I, uh, I'm a stage two melanoma survivor. I was diagnosed when I was 20 years old. Um, my cancer was caused mainly from behavior choices and, and being out in the sun too much, using tanning booths. Um, so for the last eight years, I've been sharing my story to hopefully teach people that, you know, like we were talking about today, there's safe alternatives to actually going out in the sun and getting a tan. Absolutely. <laughs> Unfortunately, we're wrapping up. How can people get involved in your event? How can they register? They can go to skincatering.com and there, click on the tab uh, skin, Spring Skin 101 and click on the schedule now to register for the event because there is limited space. It's free to attend. Mm -hmm. You just have to register for space it. Space limited. Well, I want to thank the two of you for coming on the show today. Thank you. Great work as always. Thank you.